What's up guys, Asian here again with another build video. This time we're going to be going over the Stamina Sorcerer. As you guys know from the previous build videos, uh, I'm going to go over my gear, setup, CP points, skill bars. Then I'll do a sample rotation, sample parse, to kind of show you guys how the class is played. Starting off with gear, I have two-piece Belladrath. I have one medium and one heavy. Uh, as a stamp tune, you're going to want to do at least 6-1, six, uh, 6 medium, 1 heavy. Uh, the heavy piece is just for that health bonus. Uh, you don't want to go 5-1-1 one, because one you are losing out on some crit and weapon damage from not using 6-piece uh, medium. Some people recommend going 7-piece medium, but you're losing out on a little bit of health there. Uh, play it by ear, see what, your health, uh, what you can hit health-wise um, with your armor. 5-piece 2-fanged snake. I do not have my gear golded out just yet. I need to go ahead and do that at some point. Uh, you're going to want all the vines. Uh, unlike Magicka tunes where you can get away with infused on your big pieces, uh, on stamina tunes the vines is... You're, you'll see a larger DPS difference between the vines and infused. So you're going to want to stick with the vines uh, where, when and where you can. So you see here I only have an infused belt because I don't have a divine's uh, belt of two fang snake. Uh, I'm also using purple jewelry because I, uh, I don't have a divine's uh, legs of two fang snake either. Normally all five of these armor pieces would be two fang snake. Uh, jewelry, you have uh, Vicious Ophidian which comes from the Craglorn Trials uh, with weapon damage enchants. I have three piece of Fidi uh, Vicious Ophidian for the uh, minor slayer bonus. Uh, the best in slot absolute endgame gear is to get uh, two weapons, but I don't have two wep vicious civilian weapons right now. I only have a sharpened sword, uh, so we're going to be using a different build instead. The old meta, I'm going to have a Maelstrom's Axe and a Maelstrom's Daggers. Ideally, they should be both be sharpened. Uh, I don't have a sharpened dagger, so I'm using Precise instead, and I just dumped a few more points into Piercing to get uh, to hit that, uh, get some extra penetration out of it. And a sharpened maelstrom bow, um, that's best in slot for stam tunes. All stam tunes um, are going to be running sharpened maelstrom bows on the back bar uh, for endgame stuff. This, These are my stats with buy stat food. Your, the only real viable uh, food for stam is going to be buy stat uh, dubious camera or throne. You can kind of use if you're using bone pirates, but if you're using bone pirates, you're losing out on the. Um, you're losing out on either the. 5 heaps bonus from Vicious Ophidian or the penetration bonus from Two Fang Snake. Um, so you're you're sacrificing something there. Um, so I don't recommend using Dubious Camor and Throne. Uh, you're just losing out on either sustain or penetration. It's not, in my opinion, a very good trade-off. For your bars, your front bar, I have Rending Slashes. You could go with the other Morph Blood Craze for added survivability. Rapid Strikes. I have anti-cavalry caltrops, but you can use the other morph razor caltrops if you want. Uh, hurricane, bound armaments, and I have the flawless dawnbreaker. Uh, you're not going to use this. This is just for the secondary effect of increasing your weapon damage. Your bow bar is going to be a lot of your buffs and dots. Uh, crit surge, very important for uh, sorcerers. This is kind of where you get your survivability from. Poison injection, endless hail. Rearming Trap, you got a double bar bound armaments and Ballista, this is the uh, main ultimate you're going to be using. In terms of CP points, I'm going to quickly go over them. 75 into Mooncalf, 75 into Tenacity. Uh, it's not worth putting the extra 25 points to get that 1% boost. Uh, those points are better spent elsewhere, particularly on endgame content. Uh, 29 points into Warlord to reduce cost of break free. That uh, helps with our stamina sustain. 31 points into tumbling, uh, same idea, helps out with stamina sustain. Uh, you could take a couple of points out of those two and put them into Shadow Ward to reduce cost of blocking, because there will be instances in endgame content where you're going to be blocking a lot, so uh, Shadow Ward will definitely help with that. Uh, conserve your stamina for actual DPSing. For your mages, nothing in the Apprentice. In the Atronach, I have 11 points in Physical Weapon Expert and 27 points in Master at Arms. Over in the Ritual, 37 in Thaumaturge, 37 in Precise Strikes, 49 in Piercing, 49 in Mighty. Uh, I have extra points in Piercing because I don't have a sharpened VMA Dagger. Uh, 
if I did have a sharpened V-Main Dagger, I would actually take points out of piercing, probably um, around 30 points or so, and put them into Thaumaturge, Precise Strikes, uh, and Master at Arms uh, to increase my DPS. For your uh, Warrior CPs, 64 into Hardy and Elemental Defender, make sure to put points into these two passives first. Uh, there's currently a bug or it could be an unintended feature where you won't get the full mitigation if you don't uh, put your points into these two first. 34 into thick skin to decrease damage from dots. Um, the dots you will see in endgame content tend to be very nasty, so you're going to want to get some damage mitigation from those. 48 into ironclad. Uh, direct damage is basically anything that deals its damage in one hit, so basically 90 to 95 percent of the uh, boss attacks in the game fall under direct damage. And nothing in the Lord, you can't do anything in Bastion because you don't have a damage shield as a stamina character. So for potions, I'm going to be using Essence of Weapon Power. These are relatively cheap to make uh, in comparison to Essence of Spell Power, which is the uh, Magicka equivalent. So we're going to be using this today. And we're going to be using max health, max stam, food for our Parsons. So we're just going to go ahead and re-eat, and we're going to go ahead and start our parse. Um, because I'm using VMA weapons, my rotation is going to be a little bit uh, weird because of the Cruel Flurry enchantment. Uh, Cruel Flurry basically says after you use Rapid Strike, which is that ability right there, um, it boosts the damage of your next single target uh, damage over time. Um, so only a handful of abilities count, I believe Poison Injection, Rearming Trap, uh, Rending Slashes all count, and we'll proc Cruel Flurry. So we're gonna, just going to go ahead and get started with the parsing here. There you have it, that is the rotation for a stamina sorcerer. Um, a little bit wonky there, uh, screwed up the rotation a couple of times there, uh, but still pulled a pretty good parse at about 31k DPS. Going under our combat metrics, we can kind of see uh, where all of our DPS comes from. See here, poison injection and endless hail, they're very important to keep up at all times, particularly with a VMA bow. Your endless hail is going to make up a huge portion of your DPS, uh, just because of that uh, VMA enchantment. Uh, rapid Strikes here, you can see these are, um, is our spammable here, and everything else just kind of falls off from there. Looking over here, we can check out our buffs. Minor Force is only up 81% of the time, that's on the low end. Uh, that comes from Rearming Trap. You kind of want to get 85% or higher. Uh, same thing with Hurricane, you can see here 76%, want to shoot for 85% and up. Uh, particularly because that's uh, where you're going to get your major resolve, major reward, major reward buffs from. Crit surge was only up 68% of the time. Definitely could have done better on maintaining crit surge. Uh, that gives me my uh, major brutality, uh, major savagery. But um, you can see here, I pretty much got 94% uptime on that. 
100% uptime of major brutality, so overall fairly good parse, could be a little bit better, uh, definitely with the minor force, but that's kind of the numbers you can expect to see with a uh, dual wield stamina sorcerer using BMA weapons. So that's it for this build video, I will see you guys in the next dungeon.